Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Review since 3.54 p.m. And it's Saturday, March 16th, 2024. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the last one of these NOCO BCA energy drinks. I got it from my local Quick Trip. It was like around 2 for 4 50 so it was okay price, but it was like $2.89 a can, though, individually. So it's better if you know if you buy two cans, you know, you get a better deal. But um, anyway, this one sounds like it might be pretty good. We shall see. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Miami Strawberry noco bca energy drink so oh yeah boys look at that can so oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah very blue so oh yeah it has a silver top with a light blue tab this one has a light blue tab just like the last flavor reviewed the juicy breeze one but it's the same like a darker blue color can the one I reviewed um, yesterday, the Juicy Breeze one, that was like a lighter blue can. So it's interesting that this one has the lighter tab. It's like the darker blue color. Um, so that's interesting. But um, anyway, it says NOCO BCA, Miami Strawberry, naturally flavored, sugar-free, and carbonated beverage. Caffeine, 180 milligrams, 12 foot ounces, 355 milliliters. So yeah, it has the same amount of caffeine as like all the other flavors I reviewed, except for the one I reviewed yesterday which was a more of a unique design, but it also had more caffeine. It had 200 milligrams. This one is just 180. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, get a little lit, you know, just saying. But yeah, it has like a salmon to like a red colored, like equal sign. Looks pretty cool. Pretty simple can design though. All the NOCO drinks pretty much look the same. Except the Juicy Breeze one I reviewed yesterday was a little bit more of a unique design though. Um, but um, anyway. It says NOCO, Miami Strawberry Naturally Flavored, produced in the Netherlands, manufactured for No Carbs LLC, 3865 Grandview Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90066. Branch chain amino acids blend, BCA, 4 to 1 to 1 ratios, leucine, valine, and isoleucine, 3,000 milligrams, caffeine, 180 milligrams. No recommended for children, pregnant, breastfeeding, women, or individuals sensitive to caffeine. Low calorie beverage, you recommend maximum consumption in the two cans per day. Best served chilled once open, consumed same day www.noco.com at noco.usa, info.us at noco.com. Has some other codes in the SKU, 12 foot ounces, 355 milliliters. Has a CP Can Company logo. Contains no juice. Nutrition facts, strength size 1 can, amount per serving calories 15. Total fat 0 grams over percent, sodium 0 grams over percent, total carbohydrates 2 grams 1 percent, total sugar 0 grams, glute 0 grams, added sugar 0 percent, protein 2 grams 0 percent. Nice and 8 milligrams, 50%. Vitamin B6, 0 0.85 milligrams, 50%. Vitamin B12, 1.2 micrograms, 50%. Vitamin 15 micrograms, 50%. Um, so yeah, it only has 50% of the B vitamins and stuff, but it has 180 milligrams of caffeine. So yeah, it'll still give you a pretty good boost though. But more of like a mild energy boost. Um, but yeah, other ingredients, carbon water, L-leucine, citric acid, L-valine, L-isoleucine, natural flavors, carrot juice, concentrate for color. Caffeine, sucralose, beta carotene for color. Nice and vitamin B6, by 10 and vitamin B12. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. Not a whole lot of stuff on it, but I'm anyway, I'll let you see it real quick. And the bomb's uh, Best Buy Day in production code. Best Buy, January 28th, 2025. So it's still fresh for a while. But um, anyway. I don't know if there's more flavors of these or not, but on um, my quick trip only had five flavors. So there may be other flavors, but um, mine didn't have them though. But um, anyway. I was going to make this video earlier this morning, but um, I had to take my brother to the um, emergency room. He was having some issues earlier, but um, I think he might be better now though. Um, see what I mean? But um, anyway. So yeah, I was going to do two reviews today, one in the morning and then one like around now, but um, I'll just have to do one today, and then I'll have to do the other one I was going to do today tomorrow, and then I have another review after that also tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow I'll do two videos now instead of one. But um, anyway, there's the nutrition facts side. Also, um, I had some bad luck also. Last night I got like a nail in my tire in my front driver's side one. And then um, it kept losing air, but um, this morning we took it to like a new local tire place, and luckily they had one used one in stock, so I was able to get it, but now I'm pretty much out of money, even though I just got paid like a couple of days ago, 
because I do my insurance, my loan payment, and then I got new shoes, and then, yeah, and then I had to get a new tire, so you know what I mean? Um, so I um, might not be able to get any more drinks to review for a while. Um, but yeah, I was probably planning on taking a break anyway, so you know what I mean? But I'm um, anyway, that's pretty much the entire can, but I'm um, anyway, now I'm going to show off the can up close right quick, so hold on a minute. The Miami Strawberry Noku BCA Energy Drink has 180 milligrams of caffeine. Made in the Netherlands. Silver top with a light blue tab. European style top opening. Almost Best Buddy in production code. January 28th, 2025, so it's still fresh for a little while. Noko. It's like a salmon to a dark red gradient color. Miami Strawberry. This is the last one of these drinks that I had to review. The warning and stuff. SKU and the other codes. Know from the nutrition facts side. Other ingredients. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. Anyway, now I'm going to finish my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, I shot off the can up close and I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Yeah, yesterday I went to Tulsa and I got some new shoes, and then, um, because my ones had, like, got a big hole in the top, but, um, now I got some new ones, though, see what I mean? But, um, anyway, the color of the liquid is a little bit clear, but it has, like, a little bit of a tint of pink, though. Um, a little bit silverish, but, um, yeah, a little bit pinky, though. Um, see what I mean? Maybe a little bit like a peachy color. Um, it's a little bit carbonated, a little bit bubbly, but um, not too much though. But um, anyway, the scent. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. Um, the tropical one I reviewed a few days ago had a little bit of like a natural sort of strawberry scent. But um, this one's more of like a candy strawberry type of scent. Um, yeah, the tropical one, to me it was like, um, a little bit like, um, passion fruit, but also a little bit strawberry, but also like fruit punch. Um, but this though, basically just strawberry. It smells a lot like those strawberry candies my grandma used to give me when I went to church with her, and they're like in the strawberry wrapper. That's like, um, if you got a lot of those and like melted them down and stuff, it'd be a lot like that. Or like the, um, strawberry crush soda, or like, um... Had some other strawberry drinks that are just like this. Um, but yeah, definitely very sweet strawberry scent. This one's actually pretty good, but I'm um, anyway, now I'm gonna try it, so here goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And well, 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 well. Well, well, well. Yep, it does have that, like, that candy sort of strawberry flavor, but, um, in the aftertaste, though, it gets a little bit more of, like, a, hmm, a little bit like, um, a white grape juice sort of taste. Or, like, some sort of, like, crisp, like, citrusy fruit taste. Not really pear, but, um... I don't know, not really apple either. Might have a little bit of like a pineapple sore taste. It's like strawberry and pineapple a teeny bit, but um, yeah, it's mostly strawberry though. I'd probably say like um 70% strawberry, maybe like 30% pineapple. Um, because yeah, it says it's Miami strawberry, so I'm guessing it's more like a tropical strawberry. Um, yeah, it's definitely very sweet and flavorful. It's not too carbonated, so you can probably check it if you want to, but um. Carbonation and wise, it reminds me of like the the Mountain Dew Kickstarts. 
And speaking of the Mountain Dew Kickstarts, yeah, it does have a little bit of that, like, um, it does taste a little bit like the yellow Mountain Dew Kickstarter team bit, which was the pineapple orange mango one. It's like if you got that, maybe mixed with, like, some strawberry crushed soda, that's what this would be like. Definitely a good fruity taste, mostly strawberry, but, um, yeah, definitely a little bit citrusy too, though, see what I mean? Very sweet, a little tart, but yeah, really tasty and very flavorful. Um... I actually like this one better than the Juicy Breeze one I had yesterday. I think I'd, um, I like it um, maybe more than the Blood Orange one, and also the um, the Caribbean one. But um, I don't know if I like this one best or the um, Tropical one. Um, they actually both have like a similar taste, but um, this one's still really good though. Has a little bit of like a healthy taste, but um, not too bad though. Um, but yeah, really sweet. Um, it has 180 milligrams caffeine, it has the B vitamins and stuff. So energy-wise, I'd still say it lasts about four hours, about five and a half hours of energy. So oh yeah, boys, it'll still definitely get you pretty lit. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Energy-wise, it works pretty good. It's okay priced, around two for four fifty at Quick Trip. Um, has a cool can design, pretty simple though. But um, yeah, I like the colors of it too though, with the blue and the red, it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's definitely very tasty. I might have a little bit of like a healthy sort of taste, but um, still definitely like a candy strawberry though. Um. But, um, that, um, like that pineapple sore taste, or like that citrusy taste, I don't know, it makes it have a little bit more like a healthy sore taste, but, um, not too much though, see what I mean? But, um, still really good though. Probably give the Miami Strawberry Noco BCA Energy Drink. You know what, boys, you know what, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit, so, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, oh yeah. Energy wise, it works pretty good, it's okay price, has a cool can design, tastes really good. Very sweet and fruity. Has a little bit of a juicy flavor, in the, even though it doesn't have any juice in it, but, um, yeah, still really tasty. Definitely a, um, tropical strawberry sore taste. Um, but yeah, pretty good. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. This one and the tropical one are my favorites. But, um, I like those two more than the Caribbean one, the blood orange one, and the, um, juicy breeze one. But they're actually all five flavors are actually all pretty good, though, see what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Anyway, my next review, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Reese's International Delight Iced Coffee, um, drink. So tuned for that review. Um, so you're about current reviews, more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.